And tonight, disturbing new video of Islamic State terrorists destroying ancient artifacts at a museum in Mosul, Iraq. ISIS released the video. It shows them using sledgehammers being uh, used to smash statues, some dating back to the 7th century B.C. ISIS said the relics are idols that must be removed. Meantime, here in New York, the Metropolitan Museum of Art issued a statement on the destruction, saying this mindless attack on great art, on history, and on human understanding constitutes a tragic assault on our universal commitment to use art to unite people. And we now know the identity of the terrorist seen in the beheading videos of American hostages. He's been seen wearing a mask, but nonetheless has become the face of ISIS as far as the West is concerned. CBS 2's Dick Brennan has more. This is James Wright Foley, an American citizen. The man in the mask is one of the world's most wanted, and now authorities know his name, Mohammed Mwazi, seen on video butchering Americans and other hostages. I'm back, Obama, and I'm back because of your arrogant foreign policy. Authorities say Mwazi was born in Kuwait and grew up in London. It's believed he traveled to Syria around 2012 and later joined the Islamic State. Mohammed that I knew was extremely kind. A British human rights group says Imwazi's radicalization began after several run-ins with British intelligence. It's difficult for me to say that, yes, these two people are exactly the same. It doesn't seem to be a correlation between the two. On Capitol Hill today, the director of national intelligence told Congress about 3,400 Western fighters have gone to Syria and Iraq, in addition to 180 Americans. This is those who've attempted to go, didn't get there, those who got there and were killed, those who got there, fought and went to another country, and, and some number have come back. Authorities say Amwazi's family was well off, and he graduated with a degree in computer programming before he was radicalized. The State Department has made comments about jobs in economics in regards to mm -hmm. radicalization. How do you react to that? I, I don't think this is the right solution. Maki Haberfeld of John Jay College, who studied how some immigrants get radicalized, says it's not about economics. This had nothing to do with anything other than pure hatred and, and philosophy or orientation, but nothing to do with the economic status. They were all employed and in respectable positions. And well-educated? Well-educated graduate students, one had a PhD. Now, the White House said today that the man known as Jihadi John is a top terror target. The daughter of one of his victims, David Hames, said in a statement today that the families will not be relieved until they see a bullet between his eyes. In the newsroom, Dick Brennan, CBS2 News.